Hi there, it's Rachel Gregg and in this video I have a card tutorial showing you how you can use the Darkroom Door Giraffe Background Stamp with Distress Inks to create graduated colours. This technique looks great with this giraffe background stamp and it also works well with other background stamps and stamped images to create shading and subtle colour blends rather than just using solid colours. Darkroom door background stamps are large enough to cover an A6 card front, however I want to stamp onto a slightly smaller piece of cardstock to mount onto an A6 card. I'm just placing the stamp onto a background stamping block and now I'm just going to choose some distress inks. I want to use colours that resemble um, like real giraffe skin, so I'm using Rusty Hinge, Wild Honey and Scattered Straw. To create a coloured blended look I need to ink up the stamp using all three colours. So first I'm going to start with the lightest colour which is Scattered Straw. I'm just inking the whole stamp so the whole stamp is covered with the Scattered Straw and then I'll go over with a little bit of Wild Honey but I won't go over every single part of the stamp just so some of that Scattered Straw can show through and next I'll use the Rusty Hinge just to add a little bit of ink on a few areas of the stamp. Next I want to add a slight mist of water to the stamp. This will make the different coloured inks blend a little before it connects with the cardstock. I'm stamping onto Dilution's Mixed Media cardstock. It has a creamy colour and works really well when used with Distress Inks. So here's the stamped image and you can see how the different colour shades are showing through on the giraffe background. And there's a few areas that I just want to blend a little bit more. So I'm just going in with a water brush and just adding a little bit of extra water just to a few parts just to make that ink colour blend. I'm just giving it a quick dry with a heat tool and here's a look at what it looks like up close. And you can see all the ink colours all blending in nicely from lights to dark shades. I really love how these colours have blended together and you can do the same effect using different colours like pinks and purple shades or cool colours like blues and greens. You can try it out using different background stamps or image stamps. Now I want to distress the edges of the cardstock using a paper distresser and this little tool has notches all around it that has a blade in each section. You just run the blade along the edge of the cardstock to ruffle up the edge giving it a worn distressed fuzzy look. Before I mount it onto my card I just want to add a little dark edge to the cardstock so I'm just rubbing around it with a bit of Rusty Hinge Distress Ink and I'm using the ink pad directly onto the cardstock. And now I'm just getting some adhesive foam and I'm just going to add that to the back of the cardstock and mount it onto the front of the card. To add a sentiment to the front of the card I'm going to use one of the word stamps in the Wild Africa Volume 1 stamp set. This set also has a giraffe image in it which could be used with the giraffe background stamp to make some fun cards. For this card I've just chosen the Wishing You a Wild Birthday sentiment and I'm stamping it onto a size 5 craft tag which will match to the card base I'm using. I'm just stamping it with an archival jet black ink and tearing off the bottom part of the tag underneath the stamp sentiment to make it a shorter tag. Now I'm just adding some colour just around the edge of the tag by just using that Rusty Hinge Distress Ink and I'm just tapping the ink directly onto the tag and now onto the edges of the actual card. The ink pad has a really nice texture to it so it just adds a little bit of texture in the stamping onto the edge of the card. I need a ribbon to put through the top of the tag and to make it match the rest of the card I'm staining some white seam binding with Distress Inks. I've swiped some of the inks onto a non-stick craft sheet and then spritzed it with water before rubbing the ribbon through the ink. I'm using the same three colours that I used for the stamped background and by using those different colours it will create light and darker shades on the ribbon which will look really nice. Once the ribbon is all coloured then just dry it with a heat tool. Once the ribbon's dry, just thread it through the hole at the top of the tag and then create a bow. Now I'm just adding some foam adhesive to the back of the tag and I'll stick it onto the front of the card to complete. 
Here's a look at the finished card. You can find a complete supplies list in the YouTube description below. To see more stamping tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the blog on the Darkroom Door website for lots of ideas and inspiration. Thanks so much for watching.